Okay, first thing we've got to do is take a Q-tip and dip it in some rosin soldering flux and get a nice chunk and we're going to wipe it over the uh, traces on the motherboard. This will just help the solder flow better. Make sure you get enough and spread it across there nice and good. I don't like to put too much, but you need enough that it will cover it. <coughs> then once you've got your your rosin soldering flux on there, you take the chip and there's a white dot on one of the edges. This one happens to be right here. And you line up your chip with this spot right here next to the white spot. You set it on there. It takes a little while to align <coughs> because because the existing solder is rounded at the top. You've got to get it to sit on top of a round spot, which isn't the easiest thing to do. It's easiest probably to align opposite edges and then to do the other two. Then you just tack one corner so it's on there, and then you check, you check the rest of them. Make sure they're in a good spot. It looks to be good right about there. It's on there good. Now we just start on one side. And because these are chips that have been removed, not every single pin is going to be directly against the solder. So instead of running the tip of the soldering gun across, you're actually going to have to manually touch each one. Which is okay because the soldering flux actually helps prevent the solder from running onto another bridge. But you start at the pen, whoa. Evidently that corner wasn't tacked. And it moved. It's okay. Just take some soldering or desoldering wick. Heat it a little bit. And grab the pen. Okay, it's off. Huh. Let's make sure it's tacked on there good this time. Let's go ahead and do the opposite corner. Hmm. There we go. Now we can go along and check them. Start the inside where the pin's at, press down, and then go out. Going out kind of helps it from bridging two connections, too. Now when you've got one side tacked down, take a magnifying glass, place it over, and then you've just got to check in between and make sure there's no shorts. What I like to do is get it right over <coughs> and kind of shadow the light to where the metal does, uh, the metal and the these are the soldering flux don't give off a reflection. Soldering flux a lot of times will look like metal at some points, but by shielding the glare, you'll be able to see whether or not there's actually a short. And then take, I use a hobby knife, and 
press each pin to see if it's soldered on good. And if it was like the one we had at the beginning, it would move. Give it some nice pressure, because you can bend the pin back. This side's good. We don't have any, any bridges and we don't have any loose pins. And you're just going to do this for all four sides and then do the next chip. Simple as that.